Um, so now I have a hidden file. Okay, what I'm going to show you though is ls again, so you can see that difference. I'm going to go initialize my repository as a git repository. So git init. Git init. Anytime you start with git, you know that you're doing a git command, and that this this git command that we want is the init git command. So it's going to initialize your git repository and make sure that you're in the repository that you want to initialize. So we saw up here that I was in fact in let's learn git. So now I'm going to initialize let's learn git as a git repository. Boom. Initialized empty repository. Awesome. Um, now let's see what's going on because it looks like nothing changed, right? Well, um, if I go ls, ooh, maybe nothing changed, but ls-a, ooh, now let's take a look. We can see our hidden file is there. Ooh, now we have this .git file though. And what that .git file does is it's going to, um, it's going to be really important to, that, I mean, that that is what makes it a git repository. It's just this .git file, .git file that's hiding all this information from you, but just on the surface, it looks like, wow, now Git's tracking my project. Okay, next git command, git, um, git uh, add. And that's going to kind of get your files that you want to be in your project, like, ready to go. So you could do git add git file, but I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go git add dash capital A, and that's going to add all my files. And by the way, um, one dash is kind of like for single character flags, but a lot of the times there's a one dash version, and there's also a two dash version, and that'll be for like a full word. So like git dash slash a, or git dash capital A is git add all, but then also git add dash dash all is git add all. Um, so it's like different ways of doing the same thing. Um, enter. Okay, now I just added all my git files in let's, or added every file in let's learn git to the git repository. So you can have a git repository but not have files in your git repository yet. You cannot not be tracking the files yet. Okay, but git at all doesn't do enough to save that as like that's a version that I want. It's not like, so you write the essay and then you add it but you're not at the point yet where like that's a final version. It's like <laughs> kind of like the um, deal or no deal, like, like are, <laughs> are you sure? Like that's your final answer? Are you, are you sure that that's your final answer? Um, and to say that you're sure it's your final answer, like sure, sure, git commit. So you're committing yourself to it. And you can just do git commit, but that will take you to a different text editor um, to write a commit message to describe like what you're committing. Um, so I prefer just to do git commit dash m and then um, write your commit write your commit message right there. And you have to make sure it's in quotes. So I'm going to say just um, initial commit. Um, a lot of people get like really upset about how your commit messages are formatted because they will show up on GitHub, they'll come back, they're not just gone. Um, so try to write good commit messages. I don't know, sometimes I'm, I'm not very good at it, but I try to capitalize them at least. Um, okay, so git commit, initial commit. Now you can see a couple files have been changed and all that. Okay, now I have a git file or a git folder on here that is committed, ready to go. Now, what I wanna do is it's just locally stored right here. What GitHub does is it's kind of like, I don't know, like Google Drive. Like you can put your Git, um, your Git repositories onto this remote repository. Um, and so what I have now is a local repository. Now I'm gonna go to GitHub. Um, make sure you have an account here. Woo, woo, big, big mouse. Okay, go to here and I'm gonna go create new I'm going to go new repository. So if you don't have a GitHub account, make sure you sign up. And then it's really simple. Then go in here, new repository. And this is under my own name. So this is just, I don't know, uh, tutorial. Tutorial test. No, not tutorial testing. I don't know. Tutorial git. And I'm going to make it public because if you make it private, they're like, ooh, upgrade my account, $7 a month. Um, FRC teams, though, do get free private repositories, which is awesome. Git sponsors all, um, not Git, GitHub sponsors all FRC teams. So if I was going to create this on my um, FRC team account, then I would be able to make it private. But since I'm not on that, I have to make it public, which is good because you want the public to see your code and all that a lot of the times. Sometimes you don't. But anyway, um, 
create repository.